This team has pretty much shut down the running game. One and two from Kopech. Check swing. Well, Sano wants, wants C.B. Buckner to appeal to Field and Kelbrick, but C.B. called him out by himself. He doesn't have to appeal. No appeal. Strike three. Kopech's first strikeout in the majors comes from the plate umpire Buckner. Well, there's a curve that he got over the plate that was fouled off, and this strikeout is waiting to happen on a curve or a slider low and out of the zone. That's exactly what Michael did, and that's exactly what Miguel did. He couldn't check it up. He wants the appeal, but CB says, I got you myself. First major league strikeout from Michael Kopech. It's .com today. Fastball, strike three. His first execution looking is Logan Forsythe. One down. We'll take another look at a fastball right down the middle. Forsythe decides to take it. And he is strikeout number two. Three and two again. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Kopech washes away. Cave to God. A little high heat. Throws it right by him. You're not going to catch up to it, especially left-handed. Not upstairs. Not that one. So that's three strikeouts. Ball and two strikes to Maurer. Kopech struck him out. Top of the zone. Maurer couldn't pull the trigger. Kopech shoots him down. One of the top average hitters in baseball could only look as dad did and mom and his family. Michael Kopech strikes out the side. Can you describe what the debut experience was like? Uh, after my lips started uh, quivering, I uh, got through that. Um, you know, I, I just treated it like another outing, felt pretty comfortable. Uh, obviously, my adrenaline was pumping, but uh, you know, it was a dream come true. It, you know, it's everything I thought about since I was a little kid. I was, I was pumped. The ovation, and the fans getting into it, did that get you a little more amped up? Yeah, a little bit. I uh, didn't really expect that, but uh, no, it was awesome to see the fans engaged the way they were. Um, you know, it really made me feel more comfortable and feel like I belonged. And you know, I just try to do what I do best, and you know, throw strikes. Michael, it's almost exclusively fastballs in the first inning. Was that a planned play on your part, or is that just how it unfolded? Uh, for the most part, with me, uh, the plan's always going to be to throw it until they hit it. You know, uh, Obviously, it's going to get hit at some point, and it's, you know, I'm going to have to throw my other pitches, but I feel comfortable throwing all my pitches right now. So you know, just being able to do what I can with that early on is pretty much the game plan every game. Oh, disappointing that the rain shortened your appearance today. Yeah, I mean, I was a little bummed out. I wanted to go a little deeper in the game. Uh, I didn't realize my pitch count was as high as it was already anyway. But, um, I mean, either way, I got to experience the debut. And, like I said, it was a dream come true. So even though I didn't get to go deep in the game, it was a lot of fun out there for me. Michael, when you talked about uh, dream come true, how many times had you thought about what this moment was going to be like and how close did it come that moment? Uh, my entire life, I, I've uh, pretty much tried to prep myself for this moment, so I didn't feel overwhelmed when I, you know, did get here, and it was just about as spot on as I could have imagined. Uh, like I said, the fans were a lot more engaged than I expected, so that was, you know, I, I wouldn't say it was overwhelming, but it was a really cool experience. But uh, yeah, it was amazing out there. Michael, what was it like the last 24, 36 hours thinking about this? dreaming about this. Did you sleep well? Was it tough? Um, no, I did not sleep well. <laughs> I got about an hour of sleep after I got my call and uh, had the flight up here. Uh, so last night I made sure I went to bed early and tried to get as much rest as I could. But yeah, it was a whirlwind. Uh, a lot of people reaching out to me that, you know, that, are, that I'm really close to. A lot of people wishing me congratulations and, you know, good luck and everything. So 
uh, just kind of being able to get through that and get that behind me and kind of get settled in here. I'm, I'm really excited about it, but it, yeah, it was a lot of fun.